So Ronnie, who are you? Well, my name is Ronnie Cox. You've got that right. I want to welcome La Maison de Whiskey to Berry Brothers and Rudd. Um, I have worked for this wonderful company for uh, 30 years now. I've been in the whiskey business for a lot longer than that. In fact, seven generations. Um, two of those generations were actually producing whiskey illegally uh -huh. in Scotland. That is, they were avoiding paying tax to the English for what we call the water of life. So wine is still a major part of your business today. What about the spirits category? Spirits? Uh, well, traditionally, Cutty has been the spirit um, of Berry Brothers and Rudd, but that's the most successful brand name we've had. But we always have had Berry Brothers spirits. Mm. So we've had casks in this building and indeed in warehouses within London that the, um, the, the, our customers would have come to sniff and nose and we would have bottled up for them um, before the days, of course, of, of manufactured bottles in the 1850s and 60s. So they would have been bottled on premise in the olden days and the man that did that was called the Bottelier in very grand English terms, but of course that translated into English became the Bottler. Yeah. And the East End of London, it became the Butler. So the origin of the word Butler actually is the chap who bottles the liquid from the chosen cask into the bottle that would have been used and reused okay. in those days. So they were reusable bottles. There's a very important difference between you know, what is considered to be a luxury product because it's had 300 million pounds spent behind it yeah. and what's considered to be a luxury product by the connoisseur who actually is deciphering and differentiating by taste alone not by the image that is projected from it. So we're, as Berry Brothers and Rudd, we're very much in the latter category. So we're very much aiming towards people who love quality of the product mm -hmm. and the intrinsic side of it, rather than the extrinsic value of that particular brand. And you know, this is what we share with La Maison de Whiskey uh, uh, um, and always have done, is that you are sharing with um, connoisseurs uh, in, in the French market. Um, at the top end, um, characteristics which of, of, of distilleries which you understand as well as, as anybody else. Um, it's always a joy to deal with La Maison Whiskey because of the fact that you are um, connoisseurs in, in this world. The 2007 Kalila has all the characteristics <laughs> of Kalila and it's Dougie's favourite distillery, really? so uh, <coughs> one of his favourite distilleries. Um, so. Uh, it was quite a natural for that, but Kalila is, is also has one of the most beautiful views in Scotland yes, across the, I agree. Um, the across to the Paps of, of Jura. Um, and I remember going there when I was about 21 and thinking, my goodness, if Scotch whisky is all about this sort of distillery, I love it. And I fell passionately in love with Scotch whisky uh, at that time. The 2007 Kalila is very advanced for its age, yes. so you're expecting something which is really fresh and fresh and you know, in human terms, perhaps a little young with braces on and a baseball cap round the wrong way but actually what you get is sophistication you get those lovely fruity uplifting notes and you get those lovely Kalila leathery notes and the phenols are incredibly well integrated this is a, a wonderful example of a single cast that has got everything um, it's representative of Kalila in the best possible way there's a total lack of rules in rum and how does this uh, new category um, is growing into uh, the Berry Brothers portfolio I think there are definite styles in, in rum. Um, you, you can see that. I mean, first of all, the two categories. So you've got the, the agricole and then the, 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 the molasses-based ones. But the, the other thing is the areas and the types. It, it, it's all to do with the history and how we've evolved. And uh, you know, the, the, the Dutch and the French and the Spanish and the British, particularly in the, in the islands, um, whether it be in Reunion Mauritius yeah. and, and or the Bourbon and Ile de France and, and then the Caribbean as well. Very different styles. Um, this Ghanaian rum is very much the sort of British Navy style. Mm -hmm. So it's quite robust. Mm -hmm. The first thing you get on it is that lovely sort of linseed yeah. note. And it's, it invites you into the glass. It's one of those ones that once you've had a sip, you have to go back in again because the curiosity there, it's rather like a, a, a perfume. Uh, there's, there's a wonderful, there's a, there's a French book called Perfume, I think, which is really interesting. It's about the allure of smells. Parfum. Parfum. Yeah. Um, and it, it does definitely have an attraction, yeah. this. And if you've got something that has an attraction and delivers on the palate, which is what we want to happen, that to us is pretty close to perfection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So here you've got that lovely leathery, you've got a leathery yes, notes there. Um, and it's not dominated by vanilla or bananas no, and things like that, it's, it's more just, than this that. This real character and the spices yeah. are so well integrated inside this. The guy in rum is just absolute classic. Well, that is, that's just a demonstration of a little bit of what we do in Berry Brothers and Rudd. Okay. You know, we're passionate about what we select. We don't produce it ourselves. So we have the great privilege, I suppose, in a way, of taking other people's work of art and then discovering it and bottling it up and putting our name on it. That, for us, is, is what it's all about. And being able to transmit that passion, that professionalism, the connoisseurship, understanding and education to our buyers, and giving them the confidence, I hope, yeah. that they have in La Maison de Whiskey for the selection. So it's, it's all about understanding, it's all about confidence um, to come back and continue to purchase. And that's the real reason that we're here for 300 years. And let's hope it continues for another 300.